Now, Antarctica's astonishing sea ice loss is our top focus today. As a result of rising global temperatures, sea ice in the Antarctic region falls to a record low this year. And experts warn that there is no quick fix to reverse the region's damage. Even in Antarctica, which is one of the most remote and desolate places on Earth, scientists say that the continent's minimum summer ice cover, which dipped below 2 million square kilometers last year, fell further to a new low in February this year. And global warming driven by the burning of fossil fuels has made Antarctica more vulnerable to extreme events and the impact is virtually certain to get worse. Further exposing them to relatively warm ocean water, both the extent and concentration of Antarctic sea ice have dropped to record lows midway through the southern hemisphere. And as per the National Snow and Ice Data Center at the University of Colorado, the Antarctic region shrunk to at least 40% to 45%. When it was last recorded in December 2022, that is. Now, experts estimate that this year's sea ice is at least 20% lower than the last 40 years average. For perspective, this year's sea ice loss is nearly 10 times the area of New Zealand. Preserving Antarctica is not only crucial for the region's wildlife, it's also crucial for the rest of the world and its climate. Currently, the Antarctic ice sheet is losing six times more mass into the ocean than it was 30 years ago. It holds enough water that if it melted entirely, the world's sea levels would rise by around 57 meters, putting the entire planet underwater. The changes that we've seen in recent years, like I'm, I'm worried by them. You know, I'm, a, you know, it's, it's, it's surprising even to me as a glaciologist that's familiar with, you know, the detail of what's happening and how rapidly our polar regions are changing. The precise impact of climate change on Antarctica and the surrounding ocean is not yet well understood. Scientists have struggled to measure how much global warming is affecting the thickness of Antarctic ice. But experts from the University of Exeter say that it is quote-unquote scientifically reasonable to assume that extreme events are going to intensify as global temperatures rise from phenomena such as the rapid decline in sea ice. Now, unless we want to see a lot more of these things happening in the future, we've really got to get on with decarbonising. That won't solve the problem. Right? There will be adaptation that, that's absolutely needed. But if you're looking for an additional reason to decarbonise, as if we needed one, an additional reason to decarbonise was look, look what's happening to Antarctica. Look what we are doing to the Antarctic continent. <laughs> 